In 2014, McLean's Magazine chose Elizabeth May, the leader of Canada's Green Party, as the best orator in Parliament, as in she is a better speech giver, better off the cuff, better on her feet. She's really, really good at talking. Well, here's a clip of Elizabeth May over the weekend at something called the Parliamentary Press Gallery Dinner, where politicians give funny speeches to hundreds of journalists. It's all on the record, and the funniest clips make it to TV. Course language warning applies. Here, take a look. Who knew Cotter was spelled K H A D R? Welcome back, Omer Cotter. It matters to say it. Welcome back, Omer Cotter, your home. There's a lot of unusual about your speech, Liz, but we're going to take off. Omer Cotter, you've got more class than the whole Cabinet. Thank you. Best orator there, eh? Yeah, she said that Omar Cotter, her folk hero, has more class than anyone in the effing cabinet, or has more effing class than anyone in cabinet. By the way, that other woman who was hauling Elizabeth May away from the microphone to save her from herself was one of those cabinet ministers that Elizabeth May says has less class than Omar Cotter. Say, question for you, Elizabeth May, how do you determine which murderers are classy and which murderers are not classy? Can you help me figure that one out? And why would you say that any murderer is classy? And what do you think the victims of that murderer, the widow of the man Omar Cotter murdered, murdered Christopher Spear and his father's children, what would they make about a Canadian political leader saying that Omar Cotter is a classy murderer? What a disgrace. But the second disgrace happened almost immediately. As I say, this was in front of a packed ballroom of journalists, the most gossipy, snipey people in the world. They saw this, and it wasn't just this tirade about Omar Cotter and the F-bomb. Elizabeth May went on about her sex life, talking about oral sex and anal sex, and clearly appeared to be drunk. That we go from the oral, I'm not going to eat the mic, into the anal. God, I don't want to think about it. Or the genital. Guys get stuck on this Freudian stuff. They assume that I suffer from classical Freudian debate envy. But I no longer do. Praise the Lord free at last. And none of this made it to TV. Were it not for Althea Raj, one reporter at the Huffington Post who took a short clip on her cell phone and put the video on the internet. Well, people on Twitter got a hold of that and couldn't believe it and started demanding more. I was one of them demanding more clips. Why was the CBC, who filmed this whole event, sitting on the footage? If another party leader like Prime Minister Harper had sworn in that way, had praised a, a murderer that way, had been so obviously drunk in that way, wouldn't the CBC have been leading with it full tilt? Of course they would. Why was the CBC and all other journalists other than Althea Raj being part of a cone of silence to protect all this? Now, Elizabeth May started making ironic apologies yesterday and today. And by an ironic apology, it's, I'm sorry you didn't find my jokes funny. Seriously, her whole rationale was that she's just being an edgy comedian. And if you don't get the humor, it's your fault. Here, take a look at this. I was tr trying and obviously failing badly at delivering something a bit edgy. And right. had I, in hindsight, I should have realized that having traveled so much in the previous 48 hours that I was probably too sleep deprived to pull it off properly. So I do apologize again. Yeah, got it. You're so funny. Us simple people just don't get how funny you are. That's not an apology. That's an I'm sorry you're stupid apology. Even funnier, when Elizabeth May was asked if she was drinking, it's a pretty easy yes-no question. Here's what she said. I, ha I have to ask, because many of our viewers have commented after seeing the video through this morning, was alcohol involved? I don't think so, but I think I was very sleep deprived. Okay. And they did serve wine with dinner, I'm not denying that, but I think it was primarily, I mean, it was just whatever wine the waiter served at our table. I hadn't been going, hadn't had drinks before or after, so I don't think that was a factor, but obviously that's what people are saying on, online. Yeah, officer, I can't really answer whether or not I was drunk. There was some wine on the table, but let's just leave it at that. Yeah, okay, 
So you were drunk. Listen, we've had drunk politicians in Canada since the time of John A. Macdonald. That's not the problem. It's what she said when she was drunk. Some people are happy drunks, kissy kissy drunks. Some people are angry drunks. Elizabeth May just simply speaks the truth, which is, in her opinion, Omar Khadr is a hero who is morally superior than Canada's cabinet. Think about that for a bit. Now, this whole evening had a real frat boy feeling to it. Imagine if it wasn't a leftist female Green Party leader, but let's say a right-wing military man at, a, at an army base. You just know that if, this, if there was this kind of drunken debauchery and bizarre commentary at a Canadian Forces base, the CBC would have been all over it. I'm not even saying another political leader. I'm just saying in any other part of society that the CBC hates, whether it's an oil company or a police force or the military, it would be all over it. But because it's their leftist heroine, they covered it up for her. I think this shows how deep the rot is in Canada's media party. The fact that they are truly part of Team Cotter, his propagandists, and the, the fact that they would cover up for one of their own who steps in it, knowing that ordinary Canadians, if they saw this true character of Canada's left-wing establishment, would be disgusted. For the Rebel Dot Media, I'm Ezra Levant.